Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades, and today I'm working on this 8x8 birchwood panel, and I have some Cricut Holograph vinyl that I'm going to cover it with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some glue all to get the board kind of sticky, even though the vinyl does have the sticky backing um, this will just ensure that it stays down especially since I'm going to be adding resin I don't want it to get under there if it uh, was to not be secure to the wood so right here we're just gonna carefully line it up And I um, pretty much left the full part of the video of this to show you how to get it onto your canvas or your board. You just peel that bagging off slowly. And then you start smoothing it out. And I'm going to use this little tool right here to make sure that I get all the little air bubbles pushed out to the edges. Don't want any air bubbles left. So let me show you the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use this raspberry mica powder from Brambleberry. Then I have this red raspberry by Resin Art. And then I have the wild jasmine by Resin Art. And I have this yellow, but I'm probably not going to use that. But I'm definitely going to be using this gold dust metallic from Stone Coat. And I have these glass elements that I'm going to be adding. They're just glass filler or vase filler, but they were in little bags, so I want to make sure they're clean and no dust on them. So I'm cleaning them off with some 91% alcohol. And then I'm going to just place the bigger ones here all over the board, kind of get a pattern going. And we're going to be using the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin. This is part A and B one-to-one -one ratio and um, I always start with the B first in my cup going to be using three ounces and we will put the B in first and then put the A in second and that is simply because the A is very thick and um, it's better that it is not on the bottom of the sides of your cup when you start mixing because you might not get it all incorporated very well. So you still have to scrape the sides of your cup and the bottom but it's just better to start with the B. So I'm going to just kind of stream the resin all around the um, Base filler gems here. I got marbles. I got uh, different size of the um, what looks like maybe uh, just chunks, basically, <laughs> for a better word. And then once I get all of this coated around, I want to keep this part of it where you can see down to the holographic paper or it shines through these gemstones and I am doing this by um, Tammy Anderson and what she does she has some beautiful pieces so I need to check out her channel if you have not done so um, but I wanted to try this and see if I could make one too <laughs> And right here I'm using just crushed glass, uh, clear, 
and I'm just going to spread it all around the larger vase filler pieces that I have on there until I have it all full I think this is a great 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 way to get a reflection um, off of the holographic paper Look how pretty that is. I love it already and I haven't even added the other colors yet. <laughs> so I've got them mixed now and the Art Resin Luster pigments are wonderful to work with. And I'm not going in any particular pattern. I'm just pouring it on there. Randomly mixing it on there and when I hit it with the with my um, heat gun it will allow these colors to blend naturally together and they will just they're just gorgeous they're so brilliant and vibrant colors And you notice that I'm only going around the edges of where I have the glass uh, gemstones there in the center. I do not want to put any resin or any colored resin into that area at all. Um, a little bit might seep, you know, and blend in around the edges. That's okay. I want the majority of it, though, to stay with just those gemstones showing. Just continuing to randomly pour it out and even though I use the raspberry mica powder and then the rad rad the can't even talk <laughs> the red raspberry from resin art they are different colors and they actually look really good together I'm just going to heat it up. This will do two things. Um, it will move the resin around and let it blend. And if there's any air bubbles there, it will pop them. And just taking my stir stick and anywhere it uh, did not have cover over the holographic paper I am or vinyl I am just moving it so that it will cover everywhere all along the edges right up to the tape and now I'm going to add the gold and again I don't have a particular pattern that I'm using I do want to kind of outline the gemstones in the center so that it um, breaks up the color a little bit and draws attention to it more and I'm starting out slowly with the gold I don't want to overwhelm it uh, if I need to, I will go back and add some more and touch it up a little bit. But I basically just want the hint of gold. And this is a beautiful gold. So I got the got it added on there and I like the way it looks. I think all the colors are complementing each other. And I'm gonna give you a close-up right here. Are those colors not gorgeous? 
and that gold just pops on there just the right amount and you can still see the holographic paper underneath the gemstones I love it <laughs> so I'm going to just um, touch up some of the gold in a few places this gold does kind of mix in with your resin and not really set on top so I just want to add a little bit more I love these colors this is definitely pink <laughs> but that's okay it's cool few more little touch-ups and there we have it gonna add a little heat so this is the dried version and I think it's just beautiful I'm using different lights to see it how the light changes it um, I did add the holographic vinyl to all the sides and covered them with resin as well I think it turned out beautiful so if you have enjoyed this video please click like and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can subscribe now and ring that bell you'll get notified when I upload future videos the description of everything I use in, in this video will be in the description box below. This is my favorite shot. <laughs> it's so pretty. You can see everything that I was going for right here. Absolutely love it. So I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye bye.